what's up and welcome back to my channel today's video is my quick cleaning routine and tips to keep your home looking organized and holiday ready these aren't groundbreaking tips guys these are just the things that I personally do in my home to help keep my sanity and help my home look as clean as it can be basically this is my realistic cleaning routine because we just had a baby girl and I am lucky if I get an hour to myself I told Cody that if he comes home one day and I have makeup on it's because I chose that over eating you don't get both in mom land you don't get to eat and do your makeup you get one if you guys like home and organization videos don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more I'm super excited to be partnering with Amazon on today's video to show you guys what items I personally use to get my home holiday ready home items that I'm showing you guys from Amazon as well as other home items from Amazon are available on their holiday home gift guide which is available to you guys to help you find the perfect gift in case you guys need ideas all of the home and organization products I'm showing you guys would make great gift ideas for the holidays. So let's get into my realistic cleaning routine and organization tips. So if we're talking realistic cleaning routines, usually my morning doesn't free up until after 11 in the morning because I am feeding and changing Kennedy. Usually she skips her first nap and goes straight into the next feeding and changing cycle. So I realistically don't get a break in a minute to myself till after 11 o'clock in the morning. This is when I can first quick throw on some clothes and go get myself some coffee and get my morning started. So my first step to being organized is to be caffeinated. I showed you guys my new coffee maker, the Keurig K Cafe over on my Instagram stories and so many of you guys DM me asking me for a review on it, asking me what I thought about it. So I thought I would share it with you guys here. I like that it's a single serve K cup coffee maker like a traditional Keurig, but that it also allows me to make a latte and cappuccinos that are dairy free right at home. I wanted a machine like this for so long and I personally went with the K-Cafe because it makes it so easy. It's just a couple of buttons and the coffee is ready in minutes. This would be such an awesome gift idea for someone if you're looking for a gift or if you're looking for a gift to ask for because if you're like me, caffeine is life. We just moved into a new house and we found that we were constantly running up and down the stairs for different things throughout the day. I started to keep a bin at the base of the staircase and at the top of the staircase and these are my upstairs bins and downstairs bins. Depending on what level we're on, we can just throw things into the bin that need to get organized and brought to the next location and that way we are making way less trips throughout the day. I have so many other bins in our house for quick storage and organization, especially in our pantry and our big bathroom closet. I use them to organize everything from types of food to cleaning products and to toiletries. This way everything stays neat and organized and you can easily find what you're looking for quickly. The way I make laundry a quicker process, especially with having a newborn baby, is by having multiple laundry bins. My husband and I separate how we like our laundry washed by these bins. So we'll have them separated by color or by style. And this way we're already organizing our clothes before they're washed. That way, instead of doing laundry all at once, instead I can do a load a day. On Sundays, I'll do sheets and then a different day I will do towels. It makes the put away process so much easier when things are already pre-organized before you start washing them. So after I've had my coffee, actually the first thing that I do in our house is make our bed. No matter what kind of a day Kennedy's having, no matter how hectic it is, no matter how little I can get done, I always find a way to make our our bed. It just sets the tone for the day and it makes me feel at least like I've accomplished something. So after making our bed, I will also go into the guest room and clean that room up a little bit and make that bed if needed. We used to just have this sad old mattress on the ground in the guest room, but Cody actually just built this bed and we got a brand new mattress for the guest room. In case you guys were wondering, we actually ended up going with the Sinus 12 inch green tea memory foam mattress. We decided to pick this one because they infuse natural green tea extract into the memory foam so it actually helps maintain the freshness. The actual headboard also is from Zionist and Cody set that up super easy. Especially in an open concept layout, having things out on the countertops makes it feel really cluttered and really messy really fast. So I always like to clear the surfaces and clear the countertops of excess and clutter. It instantly feels more clean in your house when you take things off of the counters, especially in the kitchen and off of the surfaces in the living room. I also will spray down the counters with a non-toxic cleaner to finish off the kitchen cleaning. Making sure the floors are clean of clutter and also just clean in general makes your home feel much more put together. Otherwise your floors will look like my husband's office. I don't do anything in that room. Let him have his space. But if you're watching this, I love you baby. Don't do anything wrong. It's perfect. We actually clean our floors every weekend so we'll walk 
wash the floors downstairs, vacuum the floors upstairs. We just upgraded to the Dyson V10 Absolute Cordless Stick Vacuum and it is a game changer. It's so lightweight, it's easy to maneuver, it can become a handheld vacuum and you can charge it and it's cordless. We picked this one because it had the most powerful suction of any cord-free vacuum. Having a lightweight cordless vacuum is a game changer in the cleaning game because I can literally hold Kennedy and vacuum at the same time. One of my biggest general tips for keeping your home clean and organized is to clean as you go. After I've had my coffee, I don't just set my coffee cup on the countertop or put it into the sink. I make sure to put it into the dishwasher immediately. I like to keep a shopping bag in my closet and this way if I try something on and I'm like, that doesn't fit me anymore or actually I just don't like this anymore. I'll put it in that shopping bag so I don't need to do massive cleanouts once every couple of months because I'm doing it as I go. An easy way to help you feel more organized is to designate an area in your home for things that you easily lose and for things that you need in a hurry. We have a spot in our house where we hang all of our keys so that way we just put them immediately when we walk in and that way they're there when we need them. Alright guys, those were my realistic cleaning and organization tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If it feels like there weren't a ton of tips, that's super sad because when I get to do all of these in a day with having a new baby, I feel like I'm super accomplished. So if you think that, please don't say it to me. Thank you. I will link down below in the description Amazon's Holiday Home Gift Guide. It's such an awesome resource for you guys in case you are looking for the perfect gift this year. The items I showed in today's video, like the Keurig K-Cafe, the Dyson Vacuum, and the Zinus Mattress and Bed Platform, are available on the Holiday Home Gift Guide, as well as so many other awesome gifts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!